All right, thank you very much. And what about Colby? If you're on the phone, sir, press star six to unmute. Announce your more appearance. Can you tell me whether this is uh, agreed or contested? It's agreed, Judge. Okay. All right. So, Your Honor, I'm here. I'm sorry. Okay. Colby Eves? Present, sir. Okay. Thank you. I have you on uh, iPhone and I have you now marked yes, present. So, uh, Mr. Yes. Bird, as to your client, is this agreed or contested? Uh, Your Honor, it's it can be agreed with some modifications of what they've asked for. Okay, well, I I don't know what uh, what all that entails or what that means. Um, oh, I've I've addressed two of them, I believe. With uh, uh, there are three fairly minor issues. I've addressed two of them with Ms. Davis. I think we have an agreement or at least an understanding on those. Uh, I have one other that has, has arisen and I want to discuss that. It may be something that the court needs or would have to decide, I don't know. Okay, well, let it, go, ahead and, uh, go ahead and let us know what that is. Then. Okay, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Eves, uh, is employed by a local construction company and a plant. He's subject to uh, random drug testing. Additionally, because of uh, issues in another case, he has a breathalyzer. He has to uh, blow in uh, four times a day, and he's subject to random drug testing by Jasper County Probation Department. Mr. Eves has been drug tested uh, many times by the department. And to my knowledge, I do not believe that he has failed testing. I think that uh, there should be some. Well, let me let me ask this, uh, Mr. Butler. Let me ask this, Ms. Uh, Ms. Davis. Is is the department amenable to withholding any uh, random uh, request for any random testing subject to uh, drug and alcohol assessment and any recommendations? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. All right. It seems like that should should solve that. Uh, the department may want uh, your client. Uh, I don't know, but the, your uh, the department may want your client to sign some releases to be privy to some of the testing with probation or or the job or the like. Uh, I don't. Yes, sure. I, don't, I don't think that would be an issue at all. Okay. All right. So with that, um, Ms. Davis, does your client? Uh, is there an agreement as to the uh, former two issues? <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Which, which I don't know what they are at this point. Okay, well, let's um, let me get everyone sworn in, um, and then uh, we'll we'll get to Ganchi. But let me get everyone sworn in on this um, uh, agreement. So, uh, Mom, Dad, everyone, if you'll raise uh, your right hands. If you're able to turn on your video, uh, do, but if not, go ahead and raise your right hand. Do you all swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes? Yes. Sir. Yes. Yes. yes sir. Okay. All right. Thank you. Ms. Davis, you may call your client. I will call Ms. Bailey Hancock. And are you the current uh, investigator for the case that we are currently on? Yes, ma'am. And did you hear that there is an agreement among the parties for the parents to participate in services? Yes. Yes, ma'am. And um, with that, um, there were two changes uh, previously agreed upon, um, which would be uh, instead of uh, the BIP class, dad would be required to take a domestic violence education course. And this second is for um, 
that psychological to be completed by a psychologist other than Dr. Amin. Um, is that your understanding? Um, I understand that that is what was um, discussed. Um, can you tell the court uh, for mom what uh, what services we are asking that she be that be completed? Um, it was requested that she complete a full psychological and follow any recommendations. Um, requested that she complete a drug and alcohol assessment um, and follow any re re out, um, recommendations. Requested that she complete counseling or complete a mental health assessment um, and uh, domestic violence um, education course courses and possibly counseling. And then what? about for the remaining services for Mr. Eves? Uh, Mr. Eves was requested to uh, participate in random uh, or in random drug test, drug and alcohol testing, um, a drug and alcohol assessment, a BIP education courses uh, or BIP uh, behavioral or I'm sorry, batterers intervention and prevention uh, program and a full mental health assessment, psychological. Is the uh, department in agreement with the changes that were proposed? I think that it is strongly recommended that Mr. Eves complete BIP. Okay. I'll pass witness. I'd like to know, do you have a provider of BIP? Um, we have verified that you they uh, he can receive BIP services through Family Services of Southeast Is Texas. a person eligible to, to take BIP a second time? As far as I am aware, I would have to check on that to, to verify for sure, but I'm as far as I'm aware, yes, sir. Well, your records indicated he's completed BIP for you already. Is that right? Yes, sir. And when when was that? And and was it did he satisfactorily complete it? Uh, it uh, your Honor, I, I understand. I I have not seen the certificate, but I understand he completed it, and it was. I think completed in 2020. Okay, is that is that your understanding, your testimony, Miss Hancock? Um, I do believe that it was completed in 2020. Yes. Okay. All right. Can next, I ask some questions as well, Judge. Next question, if any. Your Honor, if 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 the changes that we ask are not. I thought we were proving up uh, agreement, and it sounds like there's not an agreement. Well, uh, I, I, I did too. I did too. Ms. Davis uh, may call the supervisor, but um, let me see if you have any other questions of Ms. Hancock, and then I'm going to go to Ms. Moore, whom I inadvertently skipped over. Not at this time, Your Honor. Thank you. Ms. Moore? Um, Ms. Hancock, why do you believe that he needs BIP instead of the domestic violence education course? Um, the Batterers Intervention and Prevention Program specifically works um, to ensure behavior change. Um, it specifically works to focus on um, behavior of perpetrators of domestic violence. Um, and I think a domestic violence education class simply educates on what the aspects of domestic violence is. Okay. Um, do you believe that based on the facts in this case, he learned what he needed to learn in BIP in 2020? I believe that in, I, I don't, I don't know that I can satisfactor or confidently say that because there was another incident of domestic violence in June of 2022. Um, did that incident cause my client to have to be in the hospital? Yes. Okay. How much is BIP? 
I, I don't know how much it costs. Okay. Are you aware that there is a fee associated with it that um, the department doesn't cover? Um, I'm aware that there's a fee. I don't know about the department covering or not. Okay. And am I correct in my thought that um, BIP, the BIP class, they don't allow victims to participate in that class? Correct. Okay. Pass the witness. All right. Thank you. Uh, any other questions of Ms. Hancock? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Now that she's testified about those issues, has uh, Mr. Eve's wife also been arrested for assault? Yes, sir. Uh, was she not the aggressor in that case? I'm going to object to hearsay. Well, sustained unless uh, the mother, the father told her. Um, Judge, do you want me to respond to that? Well, did the father or mother tell you? Um, they both had different, they both told me their answer to that. Yes. Okay. And it conflicted, right? Correct. Okay. Of course. All right. Uh, Y'all, do we have an agreement or not? Um, Ms. Ms. Davis, um, I'll I'll just ask you. Your Honor, I guess we have an agreement on all issues except for the BIP course. I guess that I would need to refer that to a supervisor. I'm not sure. All right. Any other questions of Ms. Hancock? Your Honor, I, the questions I would have had were asked already by Ms. Moore. I wanted to know. Um, oh, well, I do have one. This domestic violence class. Is that like a three-hour class only? Or do you know what they all cover and how many sessions? No, ma'am, I don't know. Okay. Has, to your knowledge, to your personal knowledge, Ms. Hancock, has the mother been arrested for domestic violence between her and Mr. Eves? Yes, sir. Was that before or after June uh, of 2022? It was the same incident. I see. Okay. The inc incident that... Your Honor, may I ask her? No. no. You may not know. No. You may not know. No. You may not. Okay. Yes, sir. No, not right now, at least. And that was the incident yes. that gave rise to, allegedly, the mother's hospitalization? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Any other questions from Ms. Hancock? Ms. Davis, you may call your next. I, I do have one. Okay, quickly. Ms. Hancock, um, since there are allegations that my client is uh, was the aggressor, apparently, um, then are you requesting that my client participate in BIP? I think I would have to refer that to a supervisor. If my client wanted to participate in BIP, would you be willing to add that to her service plan and provide her with that information? Absolutely, because I do know that most programs for BIP do offer, offer separate classes for both men and women. Okay. Can you please add that for my client? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Pass the witness. Okay. What, was that pled? Not for mom, your, your honor. Okay, all right. So the, the offer has been made. Uh, okay, Ms. Davis, you may thank you. You may call your next. Your Honor, um, I don't have any further witnesses. Uh, the department can is only in agreement with the, the issues uh, or the courses and services uh, besides BIP. Okay. My understanding um, from a, a case yesterday in um, in another county um, is that uh, BIP is is only available uh, in person in in Jefferson County. Is that the situation in in Hardin County as well? I, I would think it might be. I believe so. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. And I believe it's, if I recall, Tuesdays 
and you can't miss, you can't be late. They lock the door. All right. Okay. So if this is still an issue, Mr. Butler, is your client uh, in agreement to do that? Mom, mom apparently is. Well, Judge, now that we know that it's in person in Jefferson County, my client does not have the transportation or the means. So we are now requesting that that not be included. Okay, Ms. McPherson, I assume your mediation is in is virtual. It is, Your Honor. It is. All right. And I've I, already informed them that I may be late. Okay. All right. Well, I I think I, it, unless there are pleadings to that effect, as far as I'm concerned, your client can withdraw that um, with with no harm, Ms. You, Ms. Moore. So let's, uh, anything else on the issue of BIP for, for the father? So does anyone have any questions of, um, or, or witnesses further, Ms. Davis or Mr. Butler? Uh, uh, Your Honor, I, I, I guess I'm, maybe I'm dumb, but I'm not understanding is there an agreement or well there appears to be and of course of course you're not dumb but there appears to be an agreement on everything if everything holds except your client being ordered to do bip that's right i i, I think I, I, and i thought there was some other other uh, alternative floating, but I wasn't for sure. Uh, well, I, I think uh, the department does not feel like any alternative is really commensurate to, to the needs of the case, i.e. a domestic violence class. Um, is it in the evening on, on Tuesdays? I, I think it is, but I don't know. At late afternoon, evening. Your Honor, may I, from my understanding, it starts at six. That's well, the only information I have. Okay. Is what? I believe it starts at 6 p.m. from what I, from the information I've received, but I haven't personally checked into that. That it starts at six o'clock. Does anyone know if babysitting is provided? I'm sure that in most FBSS cases, um, they are able to work with the family to help them find daycare. I don't know if it's specifically offered through the BIP program or with the Family Services of Southeast Texas, but I think that the department could assist in trying to find something. I, I can't say for sure that it is 100%, but I know that it is often like an assistance that we can provide in cases. I'll need to talk to my client then. Well, let's um, let's go ahead and finish any evidence and, and I'm gonna have to decide. Um, so, um, Ms. Davis, do you have any other witnesses? No, you're on. Okay. Um, all right, so uh, Ms. Moore, uh, do you wanna call your client to agreement? Yes, Judge. Okay. Miss Eves, you've had an opportunity to speak to me today um, and prior to today about this case, correct? Yes. And you are this in is exactly sorry. I'm sorry. And who are you exactly? I can't see you. Oh, I'm this is your attorney, Miss Moore. Oh, sorry, Lori. Okay. <laughs> So um, you are in agreement with working these court ordered services today, correct? Yes. And um, you heard Miss Bailey Hancock say what services that she wants you to participate in, didn't you? Family violence, anything they ask, and drug tests. Yes, and a mental health assessment. I see a psychiatrist every month. Okay, but you understand that they're asking you to do a mental health assessment, correct? Can he do that? That's something we can certainly talk to them about, but are you in agreement to do a mental health assessment? Yes. Okay. Um, do you possibly have to do counseling depending on the recommendations? Do you understand that? 
Yes. Okay. And I need uh, counseling now after this stuff. And a psychological. Are you um, in agreement to do that? It's fine. Okay. And no one's forcing you to enter its agreement today, are they? No. Okay. I'll pass the witness. All right. Thank you. Any any questions of Ms. Eves? Anyone? No, Your Honor. Anyone? Anyone? Okay. Thank you. Any other witnesses, Ms. Moore? No other witnesses, Judge. Thank you, Mr. Butler. You may call your first. I don't have any witnesses, Your Honor. Okay. And Judge, my client would be happy to watch the children while Mr. Eves goes to those classes if necessary. Your Honor, that's what I fully expected that would be worked into. Okay. As as a good natural thing or uh, no? uh, it, Your Honor, there's already been a temporary order entered in a divorce. Mr. McCatherine represents my client. Mm -hmm. uh in that matter okay and, uh, and what what if anything in those pending temporary orders uh speak to uh, the mother's possession of the child i haven't seen the orders judge, children. judge so there's an issue with those orders because um they state that the mother can see the child uh whenever he says basically there's no specific date or time um she has been deprived of the opportunity to uh, visit with her kids on a regular basis. Um, we have several issues with those orders, but unfortunately, with the children not being under the jurisdiction of this court in this case, we're not able to bring that to you. And she's not represented in that divorce. Okay, well, um, not notwithstanding, um, I may enter temporary orders relative to the safety of the children uh, in this case, notwithstanding. So is is the mother testing uh, negatively, Ms. Hancock? We have not completed drug testing in this invest in this portion of the investigation. All right. is is there any uh, sound reason to ask her to test? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Ms. Moore, if you know, or Mr. Butler, if you know, how long has it been since the mother has exercised any visitation, you know, that, that rises to the level of possession or unsupervised visits? Um, I believe that she did just recently um, have some visits overnight with her mother there, um, but prior to that, it had been quite some time with with the with your client's mother the maternal grandmother yes prior to that my understanding is that it had been quite some time okay does anyone know and and i'm not trying to cross pollinate or anything but does anyone know whether the temporary orders in the pending divorce say anything about uh any role the maternal grandmother would have. Your Honor, my, oh, Mr. Yeah. McCatherine, who litigated that, appears to be on. Uh, if we're going to have a general discussion about possession, and uh, I, I don't know that she showed any interest in the temporary. Uh, but, well, I think that I, I don't uh, think that's an accurate statement. Well. well all, all, I, all we're trying to do right now is get some babysitting for Mr. Eves so he can go for a couple of hours to Beaumont on Tuesdays to finish 18 weeks of BIP. I see Mr. McCatherine. <laughs> and your honor, to your question, it does not have any mention of the maternal grandmother in that temporary orders. It just uh, says uh, access by mutual agreement of the parties. Okay. Does okay. okay. Does uh, has the department cleared? And, and this is kind of talk in a like in a removal or custody case. But has the department cleared or approved the maternal grandmother for any supervision, any any access to the children? No, sir. I mean, not, I'm not saying we've denied. I'm saying 
either or. Okay. All right. So uh, how close, Ms. Ms. Eves, if you can unmute, uh, start your video, Ms. Eves, uh, do you live with your mother or how close do you live? I live off Cook's Lake Road and yes, this is the only place I have to say right now. I'm sorry. I, I didn't hear any of that. Say it again, please. Hey, please don't say your address. Just answer the question. Do you live with your yes. mother? You, you live with your mother. Okay. All right. Yeah, definitely don't say your address again if you said it. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, the court is uh, inclined to enter uh, temporary orders concerning the safety of the children, uh, which would uh, allow uh, uh, the mother, uh, along with the grandmother, if she's approved by CPS by way of the, you know, threshold background checks, uh, the children uh, may stay with the mother. Uh, while the father is attending BIP classes, which I will order. Uh, Your Honor, uh, uh, will there be any drug testing prior to the mother uh, being exposed to these young children? Uh, I know the court has long held that uh, positive uh, methamphetamine exposure uh, was transferable uh, and has denied I'll, possession I'll, of that. I'll send. I'll send the mother. I'll order the mother to go today and require that uh, that UA uh, be negative for methamphetamine. And judge, can we get a likewise order for the father to submit today to a hair follicle for drugs as well, since? we're relying on two completely different entities to properly do drug testing and get results. Mr. Butler, is your client amenable to that? I don't know, Your Honor. I, I have not. Okay. my. There was... I need an opportunity to visit with them. Well, uh, uh, you know, uh, there's never been an allegation of uh, any kind of that kind of drug use of my client, okay. and he has never failed a test. Okay. I believe that we could provide evidence to the contrary. Hold on, hold on. Um, I, I'm not going to. I'm not going to uh, order that of the father at this time, uh, given the fact that he's been testing for uh, probation. He's testing with his job. There's evidence that he has tested for the department uh, during this investigation and has apparently tested negatively. If that's right, let me know. I'm, I'm, I'm not for sure. I'm not for sure of that, that he's tested in this investigation. I, I've not been provided any, but I know that this man's not failed any before. He's, Ms. Hancock? Mr. Eves has not drug tested. Neither neither Mr. Eves nor Ms. Eves have drug tested for this investigation. So, Goose and Gander, I'm going to order both parents to submit to your analyses and hair follicles by the end of business, by the end of testing today. And, and Your Honor, would that include alcohol? Because that's an issue for, um, alleged issue for Mr. Eves. Well, it, it may, if they can get that 2054 and secure a place to do that uh, alcohol look back, but I want these tests by the end of testing uh, today. All right, so provided uh, that uh, the mother is negative for methamphetamine and the grandmother, maternal grandmother uh, passes muster with the threshold background checks, uh, then uh, the mother, uh, the mother shall babysit the children while the father goes uh, to his BIP classes on Tuesday uh, afternoons. I'm going to order uh, uh, the parents to uh, work all of the services uh, uh, pled uh, for uh, by the department, uh, including uh, BIP uh, for the father. 
So uh, BIP will be in lieu of uh, any uh, domestic violence for the father. Um, or any anger management. Your Honor, will the court order that he not be evaluated by Dr. Amin? I think there was an agreement as to that. If y'all can make that work, if y'all can make that work, that's gonna be the order of the court. So um, I will sign that order as soon as I see it. Um, I need the attorneys, I need Mr. Butler and Ms. Moore to as soon as possible uh, file uh, affidavits of indigent for your respective clients. Um, uh, send those also uh, to my coordinator, Ms. Wallingford. Our next hearing is for a compliance hearing um, set for uh, May the 16th at 9 a.m. You guys work your services. Please work your services, okay? Okay, and I'll sign orders uh, that comport with my rendition. Uh, please take care. Thank you all very much. Work your services. Let's take care of this. And may I be excused, Your Honor, yes. until later on this afternoon. You may be excused. Thank you. All right, you all are excused. Thank you very much.